What's up, YouTube? I'm Brett from Rancher Us. As always, guys, if y'all enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. We're on the road to 1,000. We hope you guys will help us get there. All right, so Obi Wan Kenobi will appear in Rogue One spinoff Andor. Shocking. Kind of feels a little bit like Arrowverse to me. A little bit. I get it. Might be a stretch to say that, but you know these shows hadn't even appeared yet like they're not even airing right now and they're already talking about hey this character from this show is going to be in this show and this show and this show and blah 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 all this stuff and i'm like ah here we go here we go this is going to be disney plus version of the arrowverse uh i'd almost bet on it it says the illuminati is reporting that mcgregor's obi-wan kenobi will appear in the rogue one prequel series that will follow rebel spy cashin andor in the days before his fateful final mission. No other details or information were provided, but if true, it proves just how interconnected the Disney Plus Star Wars shows will be. It says right here, McGregor will also be headlining his own prequel sequel series that will follow Obi-Wan in the, in the years between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. Uh, that show will also feature a return of Hayden Christensen as Darth Vader, the precise time period of the Obi-Wan series, uh, solo series is unknown, but it could well overlap with Andor, given its loose time frame. Look, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I've been, most of my life, I don't, this is how far it's been. I don't remember a time when I wasn't a huge Star Wars fan. Like, some of my earliest memories was Darth Vader, fighting Luke Skywalker and Luke Skywalker getting his hand cut off. Like that's like some of my earliest memories is of that. I love those movies growing up. I love them. I still love them to a certain degree. Have they got maybe, I mean, has time maybe faded them a little bit? Yeah, probably. I mean, you know, they don't, The let's just say the fight sequences don't exactly hold up to today's standards, but it's overall still a pretty good movie, you know? And, Look, you have to look at it at the time that it was made. And you have to take that in consideration. Turn your brain off a little bit. It's kind of like with WandaVision when she's doing the whole um, uh, uh, sitcoms of the 60s. You know, turn your brain off. Enjoy that for a little bit. Like, you know, that's what you have to do on that. Don't make those shows bad. It doesn't, because they don't live up to today's standards. It don't make, you know, you know just because of fight sequences and... Star Wars original uh, trilogy aren't as good as what they were in the prequels or the, the sequel trilogies. Don't make it a bad movie uh, or a bad trilogy at all. It just means that you have to turn your brain off a little bit and enjoy the time period that it come in. But overall, I mean, I've said it once and I'll say it a million times before. I was not one that was calling for the Andor uh, to get his own show. There was no part a me that was watching Rogue One and was like, that guy needs his own spinoff. Just wasn't. Wasn't. I don't know who it was. I've never met a person that was calling for that. Like, I really don't. I feel like, this is what I feel like. I feel like season two of The Mandalorian was going great. Going great. And then all of a sudden, um, you know, Disney was like, you know what? We're gonna. We're actually bringing back the fans. They're actually liking us again, you know. So let's go and make ten, ten different series over everything, you know, just anything, most random stuff. Give a Wookie, uh, you know, some random Wookie somewhere out there his own show. Give Chewbacca his own show. Give, you know, Han Solo his own show. Give, give that guy in the cantina, you know, in Episode Four his own show like it, it kind of feels that felt that way a little bit um i kind of felt like that's how andor got his own show and then of course kathleen kennedy and disney they just could not stand the goodwill they just could not stand it it made them mad uh because they don't they're 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 hateful people they don't like that at lucasfilm they want they want you to hate them they they get off on it or something i don't know what it is with them all I know is is they just couldn't stand it. They could not stand the goodwill, so they had to ruin it with old Gina Carano firing. And then you're stuck with all these different series. <laughs> that, you know, I would say, look, 
when it comes to the Mandalorian, I think the Mandalorian for season three, I think it's going to have pretty good ratings. But I think a third of its audience from season two will be gone. I just believe that. Uh, because simply people are tired of this cancel culture and they're like, eh, we don't want to be a part of this show that's kind of hypocritical on it. You know, you allow Pedro Pascal to, co- you know, compare half the country to Nazis, but this other person, you know, you can't even, you know, you know, the name's like half as bad, then you fire her. So, I mean, there's a, there's a group of people out there that are just not going to come back to it. So, Disney, I would say this. Um, I don't even believe half the shows that you've got planned will actually come into fruition. I get it. Andor has already started filming. And so they're going to maybe try it. But how many of y'all out there thinks that it'll, like, I think it may be, I think maybe since Andor's already filming, it will go into, uh, it'll be done. It, at least season one. It'll probably be canceled after season one. The Obi-Wan Kenobi series, of course, the name alone is going to get it, you know, you know where it's going to go through. And it's going to probably have two or three seasons of him wandering around in the desert like Moses. Like, that's kind of the... That's, I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound cynical, but right now I kind of feel that way. I'm like, Star Wars, if you've read the extended universe you know that there is so many great stories out there so many great stories but yet star wars when it comes to films and series cannot get out of that 20 year time frame but uh but you know where the clone war where you have you know the end of the clone wars and then you have the battle of endor and then they're like no we're just gonna stay completely and totally in this for 40 years, 40 years we're going to do this. Every movie, every series, every cartoon comes out. We're going to stay in this exact time frame because we know that people like it. Well, people also like some of the stuff in the comics and would probably like to see that, but they don't want to try that. They don't want to try that. We have all these different, um, you know, you know, things that's coming out where, well, they're planning an old Republic, you know, you know, movie or whatever. When I see it, I'll believe it. You know, of course, everybody was like, ah, they're going to schedule Brie Larson for it. And I'm like, eh, probably not. <laughs> like, I just don't see that. Like, like, these are the kind of things that you see, like, on the worst parts of YouTube, where they're like, hey, this person, you know, Pee Wee Herman's going to be, you know, a Jedi Master. Like, it's, it's like most random stuff that you've ever seen in your life that is actually in a lot of some of these <laughs> these. These, these YouTube videos and a lot of things. I'm not one for breaking news, guys, so you can't hate me on that. You can hate me on a lot of things, but you can't hate me on that because there's some things that I'm like, ah, that sounds stupid. Not going to report on that. <laughs> you know, that's just me. And it could be wrong, and I could be hitting, you know, you know, just slamming my head against the, the desk because I didn't want the first one to report on it. But, hey, something sounds stupid. I ain't gonna rep- I'm not going to even talk about it. Like, that's just the way I look. That's just the way I am, personally. Um, but guys, let me know if y'all are excited about this hand or Let me know if y'all think that this is going to go maybe an Arrowverse way, where you have to watch four different shows to be able to understand one plot point. Like, kind of feels that that's the way it's going. I personally didn't like it on the CW. I'm probably not going to like it on, even though I'm a hardcore Star Wars fan, Probably not going to like it on Disney Plus either. But that's how these shows stay on air now. Is they make it where that you can't live without that. Because that ties into this and this ties into that. And then eventually you don't know whose show you're even watching. Because you have so many different characters from various different shows. On, um, on you know, the flash or, or whatever legends of tomorrow. Like, I mean, you'll have, you'll have like 20 different superheroes on each show. And you're like, ah, what is this? The justice league? Like, I mean, it kind of feels that way after a while. Well, it's going to feel that way a little bit when it comes to some of these star Wars, uh, uh, series. And that's just my take on it. Could be wrong. 
uh, really hope I'm wrong. I, if there was anything out there that I truly, truly say that I hope I am wrong about, it is that. It is that. But I was actually hoping that I was wrong about an Andor series coming out. Uh, I was kind of maybe, I don't know, hoping for something that was a little bit more interesting than the guy that was in Rogue One that we knew absolutely nothing about and cared nothing about. You know, no one's like dressing up as Andor for Halloween because no one really gave a crap about Andor. No one says, you know what, that Andor guy is my favorite character out of Star Wars. No one says that. Of course... No one probably says Daisy Ridley is their favorite character out of Star Wars either. And she's supposed to be like, you know, the main protagonist. So, you know, out of the sequel trilogy. So, I don't know. Like I said, let me know what y'all think about this. Let me know if y'all are excited about an Obi-Wan Kenobi um, uh, appearance in Andor. Um, or maybe Andor appearance in Obi-Wan Kenobi. Or Ahsoka Tano appearance in The Mandalorian. And The Mandalorian in... So Katano and blah, blah, blah. Here we go again. Maybe even we'll even get a Gina Carano appearance in some of them. You know what? If there's enough fan support, you never know. Don't see Kathleen Kennedy going back on that, though, sadly. But it is what it is. But, guys, anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all take care.